Hi, I'm Chris Wallace from Walnut Hollow, and today we're going to talk about the Creative Versa tool and the tapered point that comes inside. So I've attached the tapered point onto the Creative Versa tool and make sure that it's nice and tight with my pliers. And this um, this particular point is very much like a pencil, a sharpened pencil. It has the the littlest point or the skinniest point of all of the different um, points that are available in the Versatool. And I want to show you what kind of mark it makes. If you pull it towards you, it'll make an, a nice thin point. But as you see that it's not real smooth, it's because sometimes the point will get stuck. I'm going cross grain. If I pull it towards me, with the grain, then it makes an, a smoother uh, line. So if you're making a very thin line, just make it very light and you see that I can go back over it. I'm going again across grain and I can make little marks and it won't get stuck and make this jagged area like that. You can go around the edge of a border. Just make sure that you're not pressing down. I'm, I'm letting the tool do the work for me. And usually what I find is that when I pull towards me, it's better than trying to push away and make a line. I can do um, some curves with this. You can write like you can write your name. Just be careful you don't go, you don't hold the, the tool too tight or press too hard or you'll find that you'll catch it, the point because it's so sharp. You'll catch the point in the wood and make these little marks that are like dots. And it's always better to go over your lines a couple of times if you want them darker or more crisp rather than pressing too hard the first time. Now another thing that you can do with this tool is to cut your own stencils. So what I have here is a, a separate piece of glass and um, I put I've taped it down onto the back and I'm going to cut my own stencil. So I'm going to take a piece of uh, mylar. Um, the stencil material comes in a couple of different colors. Sometimes it's, it's blue like this, a piece of mylar. Sometimes it's more um, of a translucent piece and tape it down onto the surface and simply because this is plastic I'm going to be able to cut right through this stencil material and follow the lines. Now you have to be careful because you're working through glass so when you touch down you hit the glass before you're going to hit the paper so you have to just judge that and pull down. Always pull towards you if possible. And follow along the lines. And I'll take a little pair of tweezers and pull this up so you can see that I can remove this portion and it's simply cut right through the mylar. So there's lots of things that you can do with the tapered point and just make sure that you attach it well with your pliers and set your temperature, your Versatemp control to whatever surface you're working on so that 
it'll be hot enough to work on that surface. So that's all about the tapered point. Thanks for watching. See you next time.